The brain is nothing but a series of systems that are all working together, trying to navigate this world. And one of those major inventions that we created across this period of evolution was emotions. Meet Greg Gage, neuroscientist, educator, inventor, husband, father, and TED Senior Fellow. Certainly not a car designer, but because Lexus believes true innovation comes from understanding people, they asked the TED Fellows, a global multidisciplinary group of thought leaders, how can we keep human needs a priority at the advent of autonomous driving? Greg pointed us to our emotions. If there was a way for the car to detect what was happening inside the human emotional state, then maybe the car could interact with the passenger a little bit differently. For example, if the car could detect that you were sleepy, perhaps it could offer you a bed to lay down. Or if you're stressed and you're looking for uh, an address, uh, maybe it could turn down the radio for you. There's ways that you can detect the, the brain's inner workings from the outside of the skin. I think about when you're blushing, blood rushes to your face. That's an emotional reaction to something, right? So if you had sensors that were watching you, they could determine your blood flow. Where is the blood flowing? How fast is it flowing? And the car could read other human signals not invasively. For instance, a camera could read micro gestures, the expression on the face, the timbre of the voice, and the seat back could even read your EKG activity. You can have a pretty good chance with enough AI and enough data to figure out what the emotion inside that brain is doing. If you think about when you talk to a person, uh, you, react, you react differently depending on their mood stage. When you're a little kid, you don't have that. You assume that everyone in the room feels the same way that you do. But as you start to mature and you start to realize that other people have maybe different emotions, you can start to build a model of what that person is thinking inside of your brain so that you can interact with them better. Devices right now don't do that. You might be creeped out that they do, uh, but in the future, I think we're gonna be demanding that our devices do this type of stuff. For 300 years, we've been building up to this body of knowledge where we're at this AI revolution. There is a lot of uncertainty out there, but it's still pretty amazing that, that we've actually gotten this far. And I wake up every day just blown away by that.